Serrana is a small and quiet town with a population of 45,000 in the countryside of São Paulo State. It has been severely hit by a powerful foe, the novel coronavirus. About 6% of the population has contracted it, against an average of about 2% statewide. Foi arrasador, foi muita perda, muito conhecido, muito it caused a big destruction here. We had many losses of lives. My son-in-law, for example, died in June and I still can't accept it. I've been living in this town for 50 years, so it's like a family. So we feel sad for everyone who dies. The high infection rate here was a key reason the city was chosen to serve as the testing ground for a study of mass vaccination launched Wednesday by the Butanta Institute, the Brazilian partner of Chinese lab Sinovac Bio attack in the development and local production of the coronavac vaccine. Sinovac is also one of the sponsors of this research. It has provided the doses of the vaccine specifically for this. So Sinovac is also awaiting the results of this research as it will be important to understand the role of this vaccine which is being used in many parts of the world. What is being done here in Serrana is something important for the state of São Paulo, for Brazil and for the world, because there is not any similar research being done now anywhere in the world. The clinical trials of a vaccine indicate the efficacy of the medication, how well it can protect a person's health, either by avoiding infection or reducing the severity of the disease. The study here has a different objective, understanding to what extent the coronavac vaccine can prevent the virus from circulating and spreading in the community. All of the adult population of Serrana, about 30,000 people, have been invited to participate. Volunteers here are waiting in line to get their first dose. They will return in March for a second. Since it's a scientific experiment, there is more involved than an injection. Participants will spend about one hour here, including interviews and questionnaires before their vaccination and observation time afterwards. This 61-year-old woman was the first person to be inoculated for the study. Our city is very happy to have been chosen for this wonderful project, which will be part of everyone's lives. Hopes here in Serrana are that the vaccine will again make this a safe place to live and that the research done here will advance worldwide efforts to eradicate COVID-19.